morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome to a week of vegan breakfasts. Just to let you know, all of the recipes will be written down in the description below. First, we're starting with Sunday, and we're starting with some spring onion, carrot, celery, and broccoli, and frying that in a pan with some olive oil, as well as some chickpeas, which I minced up in my hand to get that scramble sort of texture. Moving on to our spices, and we're using some garlic, salt, pepper, parsley, and nutritional yeast to season that up. After this, I'm using two slices of oat sourdough, toasting it in the oven, and then serving it up with some vegan butter on top. Then some seeds and some sesame seeds. And that was my breakfast this morning. This is one of my favorite winter breakfast recipes. Moving on to Monday, and we're starting with two slices of oat sourdough and putting that in the oven. Whilst that's happening, I've got a handful of cherry tomatoes, which I am just frying up in some water as well as some garlic. I'm putting the lid on so they soften and we get all those nice tomato juices. Once the toast is all done, I served it up with some avocado on top, as you can see, as well as putting our cherry tomatoes, which are all nice and soft now on top. I also put some sesame seeds as well as some pumpkin seeds and some lemon juice, as well as some pepper and some pink salt. And that was my breakfast for Monday. Super simple, super easy and super delicious, especially on these chilly winter mornings. Moving on to Tuesday and today we're making pancakes with some buckwheat flour, almond meal, mashed banana, a flax egg, some almond milk and rice malt syrup. I'm mixing this all together as you can see and it's a nice thick pancake recipe. I'm greasing the pan with some vegan butter and then frying up my pancakes like so. This made three decent sized pancakes and I serve with some chocolate sauce on top which I made super easily just with some cacao powder, some hot water and some rice malt syrup and mix that together. I also served it with some fresh strawberries on top which in my opinion go perfectly with chocolate as well as some roasted hazelnuts which I chopped up and served on top and yeah this was a really really delicious desserty breakfast moving on to Wednesday and we're starting with a smoothie which has frozen bananas frozen strawberries these frozen spinach packs some roasted hazelnuts some coconut yogurt cacao powder and almond milk then I also add in some rice malt syrup which is my personal sweetener of choice and blend it all up this is sort of what I've been having when I'm going to work in the morning or just need to have something super quick and easy. I just serve it up like so with my beautiful rose gold straw and that's what I had for breakfast. Moving on to Thursday and we're once again starting with some pieces of oat sourdough and then we're also doing some sweet. This was one of those days where I couldn't decide between sweet or savory so I had both. So I've got some Koyo coconut yogurt as well as some fresh apple and fresh strawberries and then my favorite fruit some fresh passion fruit on top which looks so good right now then once my oat sourdough is toasted I put some avocado some lemon juice and my cashew parmesan on top and that is what I had for breakfast this was honestly probably my favorite breakfast of the week so so good Moving on, and we're moving on to Friday. We're doing a smoothie again. I'm starting with some frozen bananas, as well as some rolled oats, which I love putting oats in my smoothies, some frozen spinach packs, some cacao nibs, some roasted hazelnuts, which I'm loving in my smoothies at the moment, some koyo, natural coconut yogurt, almond milk, and then I'm also adding, again, my rice malt syrup, which is my favorite sweetener, as well as some cacao powder and some chia seeds. Then I am blending that all up as per usual. What would I do without my Vitamix? I do not know. And then pouring it all up and enjoying. This was so good, oh my goodness. Moving on to Saturday and we're starting with some chia seeds as well as some almond milk. As you can probably tell, we're making a chia pudding today. I mix that all together, which looks super satisfying to me. And then add some maple syrup as well as some cacao powder and mix that all together again. I put the 
lid on and pop it in the fridge for about two hours. You can leave it overnight if you would like to. Then I'm using some natural Koyo and putting that around the jar as well as then putting my chia pudding in when it's done and you can see it's nice and gluggy I suppose is the word. I'm chopping up some strawberries because I love putting strawberries with all of my chocolatey things and put that in the jar as well as topping it with some coconut yogurt. That is all my breakfast for the week. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.